Hello, it is Max, and today we're back with another episode of Craft Block SMP, and I'm not on the server for two days, an entire clan gets made, and there's like a giant structure being built here. That area is claims now, too. Everything is crazy. But yeah, so there's a new clan. If you see Kevin543 is on and he's green, he made a clan with Mikey. It's called like 401k or something. Yeah, and I want to go over to the player shops to see, because I haven't been on the server in like two days. I've been like AFK fishing a lot, but I haven't been like on the server on the server. So I want to go see if I've made any mo- what is that? Okay, we'll go look at that in a minute. Um, Let's see. Am I s slightly not poor? Uh, uh, okay, no. I restocked that like Friday, I'm pretty sure, so... That's Inferno's thing, I saw that. Um, let's see, is this selling at all? Um, oh, we actually sold a Fortune 3 book, that's good. That's cool, alright, so... Based on that, I think I'm going to keep Fortune the same, but I think I'll lower the price for Silk Touch a little bit. I'll put Silk Touch... To, oh, I have to take the book to edit it, I always forget that. Silk Touch, two diamonds, there we go. New price there. Easy eight diamonds, though. Like, holy cow. Now we are slightly less poor. I should probably do some mining soon, but I don't know. Let's go check out that other thing over here. Read the lectern for the prices. Uh, blah, 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 blah. The Illusioner's Tavern. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Oh, I think this is their thing. But, yeah, I think I, like, skimmed over this in the Discord. This is the 401k's thing, I think. It looks like they're selling books, though. I don't see a lectern, so that's interesting. I know Kevin has a mending village, and I think Mikey has a supply of mending books somewhere. Good. Um, so that would be an interesting competitor to my thing. Um, I'm gonna look into getting more books soon. I just want to get the Guardian farm, like, functional before I start doing stuff with villagers. That's why I've got the two just trapped in my basement for now. Eventually I'll just throw them into a breeder, but for now I just want to, you know, farm up fortune, silk touch, because I'm breaking all of these pickaxes, like, every time I do this. This is, like, probably, like, it's probably, like, my 15th around there diamond pickaxe this season, and yeah, it's not fun. But, yeah, so, anyways, as I promised, I promised that we are going to head over to the Guardian Farm this episode, and I'd show you all the stuff I've done, but first we're going to head over here, do 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 and look in these shulker boxes. I pointed these out last episode, but now I'm going to actually show you what's in them. So if we look inside, it's literally just, like, the entire ocean monument, or most of it, kind of. You'll see when we get there. Alright, here we are, and as you can see from the start, yeah... <laughs> I have been very busy off camera the past while. It took forever to clear this out, and it took, like, not as much time, actually, to mine this out, because I brought over my beacon. I had that in my base for, like, I don't even know if I re even recorded while it was at my base. I had it there for, like, half a day, and then I just gave up and moved it here for haste, too, because it's amazing. And then, yeah, I kind of just dug this out. I kept the pillar things because I know those are useful for lining up where the farm goes. I haven't looked at any designs for 1.14. I considered making my own. I think I'm going to look at a few designs and then, like, make my own based off of that, maybe? I'm not sure. Maybe we'll just use something someone else has made because we want to get maximum efficiency so we can, like, sell sea lanterns and prismarine and that sort of stuff because we'll kind of have a monopoly on that for now. At least until Kevin Five Four Three decides to build another Guardian Farm in a day. How? Oh, I guess from AFK fishing. I've been sleeping a lot. And then, yeah, I guess I didn't sleep while fishing. Alright. That's fair. But yeah, I think I need to do some research about how to make Guardian Farms in 1.14. Hopefully we'll find, like, the most efficient one. Um, and yeah, and then I'll start collecting some resources for that. Uh, so I decided to design my own farm, and yeah, I, I can't hit back to game, or use my mouse. Oh, I can't stop the recording now, can I? Oh, well, um, guess we just get to sit here.
All right, so if out world edit, this was a headache and a half to do. Why are they flying? I start recording and it just, okay, no. I'm just gonna put that down. Hopefully that will save me, maybe. Is this flowing in? I don't know, things are being weird. Yeah, basically it took forever to clear this out, even though I'm in a test world because I'm too used to world edit. Uh, but yeah, so we've got this, and first thing I want to do is see if the design I used in Season 1 still kind of works. I kind of know what it is from memory. Might modify it a little bit. I mean, I'll probably unintentionally modify it, so let me build that. Alright, let's see if this works. Oh gosh, no, no, no. Before we do that, I need to not have stupid disease. Water. Will they spawn? Really? Nothing. Oh, they're spawning. And they do sink down. So in theory, if I put, like, the, um... The thing that, like, makes them flow down with the gates, which I didn't do... This would work. They're not spawning that much, though. What difficulty? Oh, we're on normal, too. The server... Okay, no, we're not on peaceful on the server. We're on easy. Let's see. Oh, what? What? I, what? I went from... Huh? Huh? Okay, I went from normal to easy and that happened. I guess maybe putting it on peaceful, like, killed all the zombies in the spawn chunks or something? I don't know. But okay, yeah, this is definitely efficient for my purposes. Yeah, okay. Now comes the moment of truth where... Wait, hold on, I'm evil. Uh... <laughs> Okay, I'm terrible. Now, I, now I'm gonna just watch them burn. While I'm doing this, one thing I want to clarify is this obviously isn't the design we're using. I've got a really cool idea, I think, in mind for the base design, but I don't want to, like, reveal it just yet. So, yeah, the base obviously isn't going to look like this. It's not even really going to be made out of prismarine much, honestly. And, oh. I thought that wasn't going to do that. Hold on. Is that... Yeah, that's what I meant to do. Okay. But, yeah, anyways... This isn't what the base design is going to look like. It's going to look a lot cooler than this and a lot less prismarine-y. So yeah, even though I'm using these as test blocks, don't think that this is the final design. Also, so, because I'm going to be covering this up with my base, um, I'm gonna just build it out of stone because I've got a stone mine here, and also just because that's kind of one of the materials we're using for the base. You'll see when I explain the design later on, but yeah, we're just gonna use stone because it's cheap. I know I could use prismarine because I've got infinite of it too. But stone will blend in more of the design I'm going to do than prismarine, just in case we don't end up covering it up fully. You, it's, it's hard to explain now because the design is not something I typically do. But, yeah. So, as you can see, I've started construction in the craft block world. We've got my ugly abomination upstairs. Oh, I just realized I'm going to have to destroy that. But actually, one thing I noticed while building this, I'm going to point this out real quickly is, oh, I'm not good at pearling. Right when I do it on camera, I'm bad. I've made that pearl every time, except now. Oh my gosh, you're freak freaking me. Okay, <laughs> I don't want a sixth death. Come on. Oh, did that? I'm not going to question how that went through the chest, but anyways, I noticed up here I've got a bunch of dried kelp, and that's actually one of the things in the spawn merchant this week, and... Considering I'm gonna have to go in a minute for now, I'm gonna like 
finish this episode in a later time. I think I'm going to just bring all this to spawn and sell it for right now. And then I'll come back later today and finish this up. So let me just dump everything I own in here because that's a lot of dried kelp. Um, actually, I'm probably going to need the shulker box. Oh, I left the purple one downstairs. We'll just use the ice one. Alright, put this here. Yeah, this is ice. Yep, that's ice. Alright. So, let's see. This is going to take a while, but I'm going to be rich. I had all that, by the way, because I was using dried kelp to um, smelt my sponges on the go, just because I didn't have much coal. So, okay, now we put this down. Empty my inventory. There we go. And yeah, I was basically just... I took the kelp from the surrounding area and just used it to make infinite kelp to smelt my sponges because I needed to smelt my sponges a lot while doing that, like, so many times. It was not fun. There's got to be... I mean, I know there's redstone ways to do it, but there's got to be, like, more efficient ways to place sponges. Oh, well. But anyways, let's finish this up. Okay, let's see. 58 emerald blocks. That's pretty solid. Let's go over here and get capitalism. They're in the wrong spot. Okay. Yeah, so now I've got a net worth of over a stack of diamonds again. That's good. That's good. But anyways, yeah, like I said, I'm going to have to be off the server for a few hours. But I will come back and finish building that farm. So Ow! I kid you not. Oh. This little idiot. I... I swear, I was just like, out of the corner of my eye, I was like standing right here and the block just disappeared. Oh my gosh. This guy. Am I even recording? I'm not sure. I think I hit the record thing. I've been working on this for a while. I got back. This little idiot. What? Bruh. Uh, <laughs> I just want to not flood my monument. You know... In theory, they could flood this entire thing, though, right? I mean, yeah, the water would scare them off as it spread here, but they could still do it from on top. So in theory, if I AFK'd here for, like, a few years straight without, like, fixing up the sand wall, then technically it could disappear from Enderman. That's interesting. Okay, I'm an Ender Pro Pro. And, oh my gosh, I'm so... Oh, hey, I actually got in. Ten points to me. I'm so good. You know, Minecraft is just such a really flawless game. It's got no bugs. The developers are working really hard to make sure there's nothing wrong in this game at all. What is... What's he shooting at? Does it do damage? Oh. It disappeared when I guess it hit me. Uh, <laughs> why? Every five minutes, there's just like something like that that happens, and it's just. Why? Wait, are you joking? There's another one. The Enderman, I'm gonna disassemble this entire thing before I finish it. Also, I ran out of trapdoors, so I need to go to my wood farm, which I'm very glad that I have. Okay, now that placing two bajillion, um, whatever these are called, gates is done, I can actually get on to building the actual farm. Yay! I'm pretty sure you have to go up to Y63, so this thing's gotta go. Let's see what else has to go. Oh boy. 63, and then the roof is 60. Oh gosh, this has all gotta go. This is on the level of the bottom row of chests. Oh, that makes everything more difficult. Because most all of those chests are full or have items in them. Oh, this is going to be fun for me. <laughs> and I'm going to run out of pearls because I am good at this game. Okay, so on the plus side, we kind of have a working XP farm. On the minus side, I built this way too high, and it's at a point where they won't die of fall damage. I Obviously, they can hit me right now because I haven't made like a proper like killing thing yet. Um, apparently, I need to bring this down a few more blocks, and I have no clue how I'm going to do that without being ruthlessly murdered. I might have to get another player on the server to go upstairs and like load the farm 
and then I could go here. And also, all this is getting stuck. I know I'm going to have to put carpets in when I put the real XP thing, but yeah, we're, <laughs> we're going to need a lot of chests. This I did this like five minutes ago. This is... This is ridiculous. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to get a clan member or something to come on and help me. Right now, it's just me and Mikey on. I mean, I've got an XP farm. It's definitely helping with the mending. Um, definitely also getting the jaw. Oh my gosh, it's backed up already. How are we getting salmon? Our salmon spawning in there. I built it one block high on purpose because guardians spawn up to Y level 63 and I built the farm up to 64 blocks of water because it said they spawn if they have a block of water above them too. Like they need to have that above them. So I wanted to maximize the efficiency. So maybe that's allowing salmon to spawn. Oh, no, 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 no. We don't want to do that. Looks like they're at least a low enough amount of health where I can sweeping edge them in one hit, which is good. I might not need other people here for this, but those sound like famous last words, so, um, yeah, this is, wait, what, it's not full, oh, we're going faster than the hoppers can handle, I think. Yeah, I didn't even put these hoppers in, like, a configuration and all, I kind of just slapped them down and hoped they were in the right place, so, yeah, this will be interesting. Alright, so I've been trying to test some stuff for, like, the past 20 minutes, and it seems like enchanting tables don't work for some reason. I remember that's how you used to do it back in, like, 1.7, 1.8. Not in, like, specifically Guardian Farms, but in, like, farms and, like, player killers on factions and stuff. That's what you used to do. So I tried that. It didn't work. This right now is kind of the best strategy I have, but this obviously isn't ideal for a number of reasons. But, I mean... It's working. As you can see, I'm at level 63. I doubt I started the episode anywhere near there. This is like a few days later. I'm pretty sure I, I'm going to edit that into the video when I end up editing this. But yeah, this is like a good like three days after the last... Like, this clip and the past clip are like three days after the other stuff, just because this took forever. But yeah, I think next episode we're going to look into improving the system. As you can see, we already got a guardian head, so it would be cool if we did like a head wall of those. Oh, I got an email. That's cool. We'll keep... This is the first Nemo. Is this a raw cod? Yeah, it is. I don't know how I'm getting raw cod. We're also getting backed up too, which is cool. Uh, <laughs> that's not cool at all. I'm out of iron. Um, oh, so some of them are dying from fall damage. I didn't end up moving this down because I was going to use it for an XP farm anyways. But yeah, I think next episode we'll look into improvements for this. And yeah, I think since this episode's long, we're going to end it off here. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a lick and subscribe. Um, and yeah, I'll see you all next time. Do-do-do-do-do-do.